This is part two of using the Dragon OS, the RTL SDR, and some software for weather satellite reception. Uh, in part one, I got almost all of the software installed, the scripts written, pretty much everything in place. Uh, but then I went and tried it out and figured out that the driver for the RTL SDR that's included in Dragon OS uh, does not have at least one of the options uh, that's needed to run uh, the script and, I, and I'll explain, I'll show what we need to change, but keep in mind if you do make these changes uh, you're probably going to break GQRX, maybe a few other things. Uh, the only reason I'm doing this was uh, to get an understanding of how this weather satellite uh, receiver uh, works. Uh, I will probably likely roll back all the changes once I'm done so that I can do what I normally do but it's always good to learn something new. So what I'm going to do here is go ahead and make this comp file in the directory that the uh, original author uh, wrote here. I've already put in the three entries that he calls for here. I've already rebooted my machine. And I've just been putting everything in the user source folder. So you can see I already downloaded this other uh, GitHub page, this other driver. But you can run git clone, you'll end up with a folder in your user source directory. I've already made the build directory. And don't forget sudo. Uh, you don't have to change back to the home directory. It should be sitting right here. You see RTL SDR rules. You can copy Now I've already rebooted. And I'm using <coughs> I'm using this different driver. We'll hop down. So we've already got the scripts written. Uh, one other thing that I did, because it called for sudo and one of the scripts. If you run this command here. Come down to the bottom of the file, and what I did is put my username in there with what you see after it, and that makes it to where I don't have to enter the password every time I want to run a sudo, uh, a command with sudo. Okay, let's see, what other change did I make? So reading over that guy's page, if you look at the remarks, a lot of people were having problems with, uh, let's see if I can find it real quick. Uh, and I, I probably need to go in here and maybe post what I did to fix it. There's a lot of people that have this problem. Right here. So they end up with this issue here. And what I found is, uh, let's see, change back to our home directory where we made that weather and predict folder. And let's take a look at 
the schedule satellite folder. You can see here on this line where it's referring to the UTC. Well, what I found is, and I've already changed it, but if I just was looking around, I noticed that in my time and date, it was actually Eastern Standard Time slash UTC. So one of two options, uh, I actually went in and altered this file. I came down here. And you can check your time preferences and see what it says there, but well, whatever it was, uh, you can put that in just like it says. Or what I found that works is. So I noticed, if you come here, go all the way down to the bottom, you can set it to straight UTC. And so what I did was, I just straight set it to UTC. And so that when I run it, now it runs my commands. I don't get that error spit out. Uh, I do not run this with sudo, at least this initial file here. And all I'm doing is kicking this off. The cron tab that we had, or that we built, should start this automatically. Uh, let's see what else did we do. Now, I've let it go, and I ended up with files in here. I'm Pretty sure it's because of my antenna. Uh, that's what I got. That's the map that it uh, generated. But those are the images. So I'll have to fine tune this uh, and, and try back.